The Teresa Rabideau Award for Volunteer Excellence was named after a longtime CASA volunteer, Teresa Rabideau. Teresa volunteered for over 14 years for CASA and served more than 30 children during that time. Teresa Rabideau passed away on New Year's Day 2014. Um, it didn't take but a minute to decide that some tribute needed to be made in her honor. Very happy for Trisha to be nominated for the Teresa Rabideau Award for Volunteer Excellence. I think she perfectly embodies everything that Teresa embodied in a volunteer in terms of being an advocate, um, in terms of the love that she provides to her cases, her dedication to CASA as an organization, and her dedication to every single individual child that she represents. Trisha Crowder is an incredible volunteer. Basically, I would say that she would go to the ends of the earth to make sure that any kid who she's working with, who is on her caseload, um, gets the help and assistance that they need. Um, and she is a tireless advocate for them and their best interests. So I think that she is the personification of volunteer excellence. She's relentless. Um, she's dedicated. She's empathetic. She's very good at meeting people where they're at. Literally, I, I see her hop down onto the child's level and sit on the floor with them over at family court. She meets the people where they're at and gets to know them and, and finds out what they need. Trisha is awesome. <laughs> she is so easygoing. Um, she's the ideal volunteer because she has, at least she doesn't show that she has any expectations. Um, she goes in with an open mind. She shows up consistently, uh, even when I'm not expecting her to. I feel that Trisha makes these kids feel loved and supported, um, and I think that that's the most important thing. There really is something to being the voice for a child in court. My role as a CASA volunteer is I feel is another really good set of eyes. And I also definitely see myself as being loyal to the kid. I mean, depending on your case, you may be talking to parents, foster parents, grandparents, and I tell them that we are a team, but my first and foremost priority is I am there for, to make sure that what is in the best interest of the child is what is served by the team. I mean, the reality of the work that I do, and I think about this a lot, is that there's, you get to see a lot of really bad things. Um, you get to see the worst side of people. It's the hardest thing for me is when I have to look at my kid and someone's hurt them. Unfortunately for me, I had to do that yesterday, knowing that I had absolutely no control and I couldn't protect this kid. To look into his face and his eye is swollen shut and he's actually going through emergency outpatient surgery today. It's hard. It's really hard. But the flip side of that coin is that you get to work with the very best people in the world and uh, getting to interact with them on a professional level is uh, it's a privilege. And so when I get to work with Trisha, it's, uh, it's energizing and I don't lose sight of the fact that I'm working with somebody who's able to do a million different things extraordinarily well and she's giving her time to help me do my job and to help these children and that's uh, something I don't lose sight of. I have been really happy to return a baby to his mom and I've also had the privilege of seeing kids become permanent parts of families that they weren't born into. So I think it, it, just having that permanency for kids, that sense of belonging that they've always been looking for and have that happen for them, speechless. I guess it's partly personal for me, I think. I've never seen my father cry, except when he talked about being an orphan by the time he was 13 and knowing that where we grew up, there was no safety net for anybody like him. He had to be lucky enough for, to have family that would take him in. And then he would have to be luckier for those family members not to mistreat him. 
and my dad was lucky, but not luckier. So I think I've come to realize that that's part of the reason that I've wanted to be a CASA was that my dad made sure that we were lucky and luckier. So I would like kids who didn't kind of get that first chance at getting luckier to get lucky and luckier as well.